to my new Dolly Paint video. And today we are going to work on such a big doll hat. And I've decided not just to repaint her and create some unique new look or something like this, but today I decided to challenge myself and to let you, my followers, my subscribers, to choose what I'm gonna do with this doll. So, how are we gonna do it? Now, I'm going to my Instagram account. I'm going to post this doll and the question. And I guess I'm going to do a couple of times per day or a couple of days in a row. For example, I'm going to ask you what kind of hair should I give to this doll? What kind of eye color? What kind of lips? What kind of uh, look romantic or more dramatic? And so forth and so forth. And like this, I will, I will create posts in my stories on Instagram and I will let you choose what I'm gonna do with this doll. I'm going to just follow, follow the stream. I will just listen to, to you, to what you're saying. And let's see where we're gonna end up in this video because this time, probably for the first time on my channel, I have absolutely no idea what is gonna be in the end of this video. So, here is my phone. I'm going to my Instagram account. And I'm going to ask you what to do. So this is such a fake Barbie doll hat, you've seen her sisters with other hair color before in my repaints and like always lots of useless accessories. But before I start preparing her for customizing, I will ask you which direction should we go and which hair color should I take. And while you're choosing, I will do my regular routine. I will cut her hair off and remove her old makeup and dress with pure acid. And while the big hair was winning, I asked you what kind of eyes should I draw? And most of you voted for big cartoonish. I guess I will anyway end up with some realistic eyes in the end, because I'm always aiming to add some more realistic features to my dolls, but let's try to make them at least bigger than I would do it with regular realistic eyes. So first I've sprayed the doll head with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and after all the layers are dried completely I sketched her eyes and eyebrows. After sketching I protect her face with a layer of sealant and meanwhile I need your opinion. What should be the skin color? Light or more tan? And after a couple of hours of waiting I see that the light skin color has won the battle this time. Okay, let's do it. 
So this time I'm going to use just the lightest colors of the palette. Well, the skin color looks very good and now it's time for another question. What eye color should this doll have? Gray or blue? And while you're thinking, I will work on the white of her eyes, the waterline and the eyelids. And in the end, I will also add hairs to the eyebrows.
how's it going with our polls? It seems most of you have voted for grey eyes. Okay, let's do it. block her smile with a white pencil and then I have two new questions for you. What should be the lip color and what color eyeshadows should I use? And while you are voting, I will work more detailed on her eyes. And meanwhile I see that most of you have voted for dark lips. And let's choose the color now. And here I have two options for you. Dark red or dark blue. Shadows both. I see that the silver shadows are winning, so let's go for it while you're choosing the lipstick color. And first, I'm applying silver acrylic paint to her eyelids. of silver acrylics to the lightest place of the iris. And then I take such a glitter acrylics and I apply them all over the lip. These transparent bases will become completely invisible when it dries and the glitter will stay on the surface.
And now let's take a look at the lip color votings and we see that the red color won with a very little difference. You see it's less than 100 votes between them. And I can tell you honestly, I really wanted to make one with dark blue lips. But there is nothing to do to their following you completely. But you know what? I have an idea. Let's take the same doll and repaint her following the losing positions of this voting. I think it might be really interesting. I will put together all the options that have lost today and then in the end we will put all these two dolls together and compare the end result. Please let me know in the comment if you would like to see a challenge like this. Also sketching the teeth very slightly. It's a pity by the way that you can choose just between two positions. It would be much cooler if you could give more options. But maybe it will come later, YouTube and Instagram are constantly working on their new features nowadays, so let's hope it will come one day. With the black pencil I draw the eye lines and then with black pastels I apply shadows to the eyeballs. It will imitate a natural shadow from the eyelash. Then I again have the two new questions for you. Should I add silver highlighter and should I add also holographic stars to her face? about both of them, so the paint goes silver directions today it seems. So I take silver pastels from the brand Pan Pastel and I apply it to the doll's face. 
fill the bottom eyelashes with a very sharp black pencil. Also draw the reflection of the upper lashes in her eyes. With white acrylic paint, I still add extra highlights to her eyes. to refresh this silver glitter on the eyelids because the previous layer become a little bit less shiny after the layers of matte Mr. Super Clear sealant. Touch the stars. And now I'm making a wig for her using a hot glue method like always. Then I still need to attach the false lashes and to apply two layers of glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And to decorate her dress, I'm going to use the same acrylic glitter paint like I used for her face. I'm going to apply a couple of layers of it to create a nice coverage that will look like a very light sparkling fabric. And then I also decorate the shoulder line with the same holographic stars. So, and here is the result of our collaboration with you, my subscribers. And it was an extremely cool experience for me, guys. Thank you so much for your input into this doll. And I really hope you like her as well. And I really want to ask you to answer the two questions here in the comments, because it will help me to plan my future videos for the next weeks. First of all, please let me know if you like these kind of videos and should I do such sort of games more often, like challenges with subscribers and polls and votings and stuff. And another question is about making a doll putting together all the options that have lost the battle in today's votings. And I really hope you will let me know your opinion. And of course, like always, in the end of this video, I will ask you to support this video with your likes and remind you to subscribe my channel because I post new Dory paints every week Friday already for almost two years. And I will see you very soon in my new videos. Bye!